Sega. Welcome to the Beginner's Guide to 5089. This is a very shallow overview to get you started, as there is far more to this game to discover. Let's start a new game and acknowledge we are aware of the separate guides for virtual reality and quick guides on the Community Hub. We'll start as the most straightforward class, the Gunner. You can pick any name you want. After a quick intro to the story, we will need to pick a starting point inside a friendly base. We want a weapon, so let's hover over some buildings to find one with an active weapons station. We start with some money to make our first purchase. We'll pick up a simple energy rifle. That doesn't require separate ammo. A quick tips pop-up will tell us about the quests and hints key, which can be used anytime. Another pop-up will tell us we need to complete quests and convert enemy territory to restore the planet we are on. Doing so will get us conversion points, which will unlock stations in more difficult areas. We have a quest station in the building we are in, but let's pick up some armor since we have some credits left to spend. We'll look for something that will have guns and energy bonuses, which is useful for our basic energy rifle. After purchasing, we are out of credits. We can get more credits by selling loot or completing quest tasks. 
will accept a simple quest without many stealthy requirements. After the quest has been accepted, we can check the map for our next task's location. We can also bring up the complete quest details at any time. We'll take the most straightforward method of getting an item from an enemy. If we made a good thief, we could try stealing it. This quest item we got reveals a little tidbit about the story. Our next task is to catch a rogue probe. We'll make use of our time-stopping ability to make the final grab. After finishing the last task, we'll be rewarded some skill points. We'll also get some base conversion equipment and unlock the first boss challenge, which when completed, will unlock the next chapter of the game. Now we will apply those skill points. Each skill is described in the right window, and we can click to permanently apply our skill points on the left. We'll just give ourselves some more stamina, guns, and defense points. You should now see the red X on your compass and map. You'll want to get some more equipment and grow your character before taking it on. As a reminder, we can always hit the quests and hint key to bring up the last pop-up message meant to guide us. Other game tips will display at the top. Our conversion equipment will be described in purple text in our inventory, as many other items are. We want to take this equipment to violet bases, where after clearing out all enemies in a section, the conversion equipment can be used to make that section friendly. Doing so will get you conversion points. Clearing out violet headquarters, as seen here on the map, will also give you conversion points. Have fun exploring and discovering everything else this game has to offer, and thank you for watching.
Yeah. 